Look who joined us, Emily Rios. Outstanding performance in a TV series. How does it feel to be being honored tonight by the National Hispanic Media Coalition? Um, it's an honor, obviously, to say the least. It's a very prestigious award to be a part of, uh, you know, uh, to be in, just in this room, to be alongside, you know, Demian Bashir and, and George Parra and um, uh, Diego Luna. To be just in that name, in that same category of people being honored tonight, it's definitely, it's a little surreal. you got to pinch yourself and realize, you know, that the... the where you are in your career and the type of contributions that you made and you know I'm young and I'm just getting my feet wet a little bit so you know it's it's, uh, it's humbling is what it is is the experience you're young but you're doing it girl you're a LA native I don't think a lot of people realize that you're a LA native yes I am yes I'm from El Monte San Gabriel Valley it's not what you're thing. from El Monte El Monte yeah and people don't understand not El Monte El Monte I'm from El Monte so, yes so a lot of people remember you from Quinceañera that's kind of like the movie that puts you on the map I want to know, did you have a quinceanera of your own? I grew up Jehovah's Witness, so I didn't celebrate a birthday until I filmed quinceanera because I turned 16 while filming and they gave me my first birthday cake, so it was really awesome. Yeah. I was like, that's a question I really got to get in there. I wonder if she really had one. No, you know what? And now my family is like kind of open to the idea, so they're having one for my cousin and I'm excited. I feel like kind of want to join it a little bit. <laughs> I love it. And being that, you know, the National Hispanic Media Coalition, what they do is they advocate you know for the positive portrayals of Latinos in Hollywood what is your message for Latinos especially the young Latino that are out there just like your overall message like what does Emily Reels want to be remembered by you know ultimately I feel like just becoming you know uh, you know starting in my first film Quinceanera I knew I was very afraid of being typecast and stereotyped into you know I was playing a, a teenage you know pregnant you know girl coming into the into this industry and that's the first thing anybody ever saw me portray I just want everybody to know that if they want to become this they don't have to compromise they don't have to you know uh, dumb themselves down for for Hollywood in order to you know make it you know people like Edward James Olmos and Diego Luna and you know all these people that I'm being here with they showcase that that we don't need to do that that there are actually roles being out there written for us so let's not dumb ourselves down and play those you know what Hollywood wants us to play. We are not maids. We are not landscapers. We are human beings. We are college graduates. We are doctors and we are all of the above. So let's play I that. that. I you know? that. So I want to know what's your favorite Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook? Twitter. Twitter? Twitter. I don't have an Instagram. I have a Blackberry, so I don't even have an Instagram. You have a Blackberry? Yes, I'm old school. Thank I still have CD. I don't even have an iPod. I don't have an iPod. Yeah, you're old school, but this is the new school. I'm yeah. so excited for you. I'm, you're doing it, girl, and I applaud you. Thank applaud you, so you very girl. Much. Keep shining. Shine bright like a diamond, right? Yes, exactly. Or like, or like a Latina. Or like a Latina. There you go. <laughs> Thank you.